ready. The medical team is letting me out. It's a big step and you'll have many questions. But rest assured, this is just the start of a new story. I'm happy. I'm going to discover the rhythm of my family. You can prepare for my arrival at home. I'm going to need a little time to get used to my new environment. That's perfectly normal. I don't need all these accessories. They're dangerous. In my bed, a firm, flat mattress is enough. I sleep only on my back, in my bed. A romper suit or baby grow adapted to my size and the season is enough. And my teddy sleeps at my feet. I sleep in a room at 18 to 20 degrees. Don't smoke in my house. And no pets in my bedroom. Don't forget to air my bedroom every day, even during winter. I don't sleep through the night right now, that's normal. Don't be surprised, I often make noises while sleeping. The healthcare team recommends that I sleep in the same room as my parents for at least the first six months. Dad, Mum, I don't sleep in your bed, even when I'm sick. During the day, I like to be with you. I can sleep even if there's a little noise around me, but I always sleep in a safe place. In the bedroom, with the door open if it's near the living room, in a cradle or in my playpen. Your ears are more reliable than a baby monitor. Look, all these objects are dangerous for sleeping. My sleep can be agitated at times, that's normal. Come and see me whenever you want when I'm sleeping. If I'm asleep, you won't wake me up. If we go to a friend's house, I can sleep in a travel cot, but without an added mattress. Even if you're tired, it's important that you stay awake and attentive throughout my meal. I'm too small to eat alone, whether it's breastfeeding or a bottle. My meal times can be long or short and I can demand more during the night than during the day. During my meal, look at me and talk to me. Avoid distractions such as the TV or telephones. All babies are different. Don't compare me to others. I have my own needs. Breast milk is the best food for my needs. In the beginning, give me your breast on demand as soon as I wake up. Don't wait for me to cry. In any case, at least seven or eight times a day. My breastfeeding isn't always regular and can vary from one day to another. I can demand it at any time of day and sometimes leave three or four hours between two breastfeeds. Alcohol passes into your milk, so don't drink alcoholic drinks throughout the whole time you're nursing me. Also, don't take any medicine without first asking for medical advice. In all cases, breastfeeding will be comfortable for both of us. It won't be painful. If that is the case, that's not right. So don't hesitate to ask for help. In the maternity wards and in town, there are breastfeeding consultants who can guide you through breastfeeding. Wash your hands before breastfeeding or preparing my bottle. All milks are prepared in the same way. 30 millilitres of water for one dose of milk formula. Put the water in first, then add the powder. Use cold water from the tap or bottled water at room temperature, adapted to the preparation of the bottle. Shake well. Bottles should be given to me at room temperature. If you heat it, avoid microwaves and regularly check the temperature. Bottles can be kept for up to one hour. After using, my bottle must be washed quickly in hot water with washing up liquid with a bottle brush. Rinse it thoroughly and let it drip dry. 
you don't need to sterilize my bottle. My portions increase regularly. If I'm breastfed, my stool will be a yellowy gold color, liquid or lumpy, every day. And I'll have five or six full nappies of pee. If I'm bottle fed, I'll have as many full nappies of pee and at least one coloured stool every other day. It's not necessary to bathe me every day. My bath water must be 36 to 37 degrees centigrade. Never leave me alone in my bath. On my changing table, I move around and I can fall. Always stay with me. When changing my nappy, it's best to use only water with a moisturising soap if needed. Follow the advice given to you by the maternity ward about how to care for the umbilical cord. It should gradually dry, then fall off within 15 days. I'll cry if anything hurts me. Don't use perfumed products for my personal care or essential oils. In any case, not before I'm seven years old. I sleep on my back, but I don't live on my back. When I'm awake, it's time to discover things. In your arms, on my belly, on my back, with an adult nearby. Always put me in a safe place. Avoid putting me in a room where the TV is on and don't distract me with your telephone or tablet. I like to have your attention. Let's choose a visual exchange. Direct interaction with me is the best way to stimulate my development. To avoid flattening my head at the back or on one side, I have to be free to move. While I'm awake, I don't stay long in a position where my head and my movements aren't free. I also have the right to go out and get some fresh air. So for walks, I'm better off in a pram, then, as I get bigger, in a pushchair where you can see me. If you carry me in a sling or baby carrier, I must be upright with my head well supported and within kissing range. In any case, make sure my face is visible, not covered up and in the fresh air. For car journeys, I must be strapped into a car seat adapted to my age. When returning from outings, take me out of my carrier even if I'm sleeping. Dad, Mum, you're allowed to be tired and worried. It can be unbearable sometimes and incomprehensible when I cry. Above all, do not shake me. Put me in a safe place and ask for support and help from those around you or from a professional. I'm happy to be with you, but not everyone at the same time, and not when you're sick. Please, wash your hands before you touch me. Avoid taking me to very busy public places, especially in winter. After I'm out of the hospital, I have to be weighed once a week at the PMI or by a midwife. Two weeks after I'm out, I have to be examined by my doctor, and then again after a month. I should get my first vaccinations from two months old. Dad, Mum, think about checking your vaccinations for my protection. Before I'm three months old, take me for checkups if I have diarrhea, if I vomit, if I have a fever, if I'm having trouble breathing, if I have white discoloured stools, or if I'm exhibiting unusual behaviour. Always seek medical advice before giving me any medication. My arrival at home is a big step and you'll probably ask yourself a lot of questions. 
Be patient. Let's give ourselves time to adapt. If you have questions, don't hesitate to call the maternity ward, your closest PMI, your midwife or my doctor.